The selling rate of the bank on Ceylon on Thursday was 335 rupees and 60 cents. The buying rate was 315 rupees. According to the data made available by the Central Bank of Sri Lanka, the selling rate of the US dollar was 328 rupees and 92 cents and the buying rate was 311 rupees and 69 cents. With inflation coming down, the central bank has brought down the interest rates by about 2.5% in the last monetary policy review meeting. So when the interest rates are coming down, of course it is not at the same levels as a few years ago, but it, was, it came down by 2.5%. So when the interest rates are coming down, again people start consuming uh, goods and services. When people start consuming goods and services, of course the demand for dollars are increasing. That's why I always say you have to look at the interest rates and the reserve levels in the context of the exchange rate. The other reason is of course when it depreciates steeply in a shorter period of time there can also be speculative forces because when it depreciates quite uh, in a shorter period of time people who have dollars in hand they delay the selling of dollars to the banking system. So as a result the demand for dollars are increasing but the supply uh, is contracting. So as a result again the exchange rate can depreciate that's basically because of the uh, speculative measures. There is nothing to fear. The rate of the dollar depends on supply and demand. We are a small country. If imports for a season reach the country in one week, the demand for the US dollar is high. Then there is a difference between the rupee and the US dollar. There is nothing to fear. We are managing this well. The central bank purchased dollars and that is why the rate is at the current level. If not, it would depreciate further.